Hello class and welcome to our fourth lecture series on microeconomics and I'm your instructor Jamal Haider. So regarding a quick review what we have discussed in our previous lecture. So we talked about law of supply and we discussed over there that law of supply means if price increases quantity supply is also increases keeping other things constant. Then we talk about that the supply curve is upward sloping, right? You see, it is upward sloping. And then we talked about the movement and shift in supply curve. We talked about that if there's a change in quantity demanded and the reason is just price, it means we are just moving from point A to point B, uh, point C here, right? So what does it mean? It means we don't have to make a new curve. We are good to go with the same curve. Why? Because reason is just price. So quantity supplied is increase or decrease and the reason is just price. That's it. And then we talk about shift. So increase in supply means shift to the right. Decrease in supply means shift to the left right and then we talked about shift means if the reason is not price there are other variable variables the reason is not price the same concept that we discuss in demand as well right shift in demand and supply and demand which means quantity demanded or quantity supplied increase or decrease and the reason is not price we see the shift increase means shift to the right decrease means shift to the left and in supply case, the, the variables are input prices, technology, expectation, and number of sellers. And then we talked about what do we mean by market equilibrium? Market is in equilibrium when supply and demand crosses each other. So ideally, buyer's ability and buyer's willingness to buy the product create demand up till when it is equal to supply. It means equilibrium is where quantity supplied will be equal to quantity demanded. When you make supply and demand on the same 2D curve, uh, uh, sorry, two coordinated plane, which means a graph here, X axis, Y axis, it means demand and supply intersect at a point we call this price equilibrium price and the quantity because this quantity supplied and quantity demanded are equal so we call this quantity equilibrium when we call this quantity equilibrium then this become equilibrium so the question is does you know market always stays or does market always stay in equilibrium? Answer is no. Short term fluctuation can occur. Price can increase, price can decrease. And there are some subsequent consequences that we do. If price increase, then what happened? If price decrease, what happened? Right? We see here. So excess supply is, let me just raise all. Sorry. So right now we have equilibrium quantity, which is equilibrium price is 2, equilibrium quantity is 7. So excess supply is when the market price is above the equilibrium price. When the market price is above the equilibrium price, then what happened here? So this is the demand and quantity demanded. This is the quantity supply. Since quantity demanded and quantity supplies are not equal, and then we see, see, and then we see here that quantity supply so or supply is greater than demand. We call this surplus. And then the excess demand, we have market in equilibrium. So this is the market right now. Supply intersects the demand. Everything is equal. You know, everything is there. But what happened if the price is below the equilibrium price? In that case, the quantity supplied is less than quantity demanded. In that case, when demand is higher than supply, 
we call this shortage or excess supply. So simplest definition is if the market price is below the equilibrium price, it means we see shortage. If the price is above the equilibrium price, we see excess, right? And then we saw about law of demand and supply together in which we talked about that, that no matter if there is fluctuation upside or downside, whether there is surplus or shortage, market adjusts itself to the equilibrium. And that doesn't mean that go back to the same equilibrium previously. No, market enters into a new equilibrium. So let's talk about this. So there are three step process. We talked about in our previous lecture that first you need to find out that whether this event disrupts supply or demand or both. Second, you need to find out that whether uh, you know that if there is increase or decrease, find out the direction. Third, find out the new equilibrium, right? So I have a practice question here. Let's solve it together so that, you know, the, those, you know, assignment questions and all the stuff we are in. In, in, in good shape to understand that. So here, we have a question. So let's read that. How will the following changes affect the market price of wheat flour? So remember, this is the market for wheat flour. And we are, we want to know the effect of price of the wheat flour, okay. In each case, sketch what happened to the de uh, demand supply curve and X as what happened to the equilibrium price. So number one event, people consume more bread. Is the reason is price? So first you need to find out now three step process. First, find out it this belongs demand. to demand or supply. So people consume demand. more bread. And we are talking about the market of wheat flour. Do we have a relationship with the bread and the market uh, and the wheat flour market of wheat flour? Because of course, parent, we have connection because bread is made of wheat flour. If, if people start consuming more bread, it means people start demanding more wheat flour, right? So people consume more bread. The reason is price. We don't know because we don't have any other information. So just the reason is price, we don't know. The reason is other factors, yes. Maybe what we don't know, but still we know that the reason is not price. It means we see shift. Number one rule, find out this belongs to demand or supply. We find out this belongs to demand. Second to direction is increase, decreased. Increase and find out equilibrium. So let's talk about this. So in this case, what's going on? I think, let me first draw it for you so that you understand what's going on. So let's draw first the market for the market for, so this is the market of wheat flour, a market for market of wheat flour. This is supply, upward sloping. This is demand. Now, we know that the event belong to demand curve, shift to the right. So demand is shifted to the right. Right guys? So we have a new equilibrium here. So previous equilibrium was here and the new equilibrium is now so what happened to the new equilibrium and equilibrium price answer is price increase quantity so this quantity is quantity supplied or quantity demanded my question is this, this quantity is quantity supplied or quantity demanded? Yes. Demand. No. This is equilibrium quantity and on equilibrium quantity, supply is equal to demand, right? You see the cross here? 
so it's, that's why i just write quantity so when there is no subscript here demand or supply it means this is equilibrium quantity so let's see our solution here here we go right so that's why answer is price increase quantity increase right and this is the market for wheat flower right sorry about my handwriting because uh my laptop is a little bit damaged so on the some parts of the screen i i have tried to write but it's non responsive like if i write like this right so this part see is not working properly so please avoid it so that's why i'm writing down on the other part so don't get get confused or write it down the market price at the below not the above side so it's because of my sensor problem with the screen okay so don't just get confused the second part the b part was the discovery of a new cheaper way of milling flour now find your three step process this belongs to demand or supply we are in the market of wheat flour and what happened the science has found a new cheaper way of or the discovery is that we found a new cheaper way of milling flour so this belongs to demand or this belongs to supply 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 supplies okay. right now now the sellers or suppliers they would be finding out this technology using that technology right and producing more flowers so this increases the supply curve right so you see a shift in supply curve and we find out the new equilibrium so what is the analysis here price decrease new price quantity increase so if a question going to be asked in your exam so you need to make this graph and mention what happened to the price increase or quantity increase so just merely making this graph is not enough because this graph i don't understand what's going on unless you tell me that the effect is price decrease quantity increase right okay uh here, okay now let's talk about our assignment here we go uh i am going to drag over controls to the left side okay now let's solve this question that was question 4 which i was uh, anticipating that we will be having a lot of discussion so i just included here so we are given i think first let's read the question the question says this is the market for petrol i would be mentioning in my slide as well so the diagram below sh uh, shows the demand and supply of petrol the market is initially in equilibrium at x 